رحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for letting us have this year's Ramadan Quiz Wiz 2024 I'd like to next thank all of our sponsors because without them this event would unfortunately not be possible We have Autotech Emporium We have Dean and Associates Accounting Global Immigration and Services Sacred Hands Foundation, Ikna Relief Canada, Kababish Karai Milton, the uh, sponsor of Milton Muttaqeens, uh, Non Guys, Panam Blinds, Quality Care Pharmacy, and Style and Stitch, Zaim G. So, the Milton Muttaqeen have had a good run so far, and now they're going up against a new team, the Oakville Orbis. I think we should just get started. What do you think? I think so. Yeah, I think. Uh, we already we got a new team here, some fresh blood, so <laughs> might as well get it going with uh, the Oakville team. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Get them ready. So uh, I want to change it up a little bit, you know, start from the other side this time. Cause, let's go. Uh, let's start with uh, Nada and Yusuf. This is the first question for you guys. Computer, let's see the first question. So Allah reminded Bani Israel to seek help through, is it A, Salah and Hajj, B, Salah and Sabah, C, Hajj and Umrah, or D, Sabr and Dhikr? The answer is B. Alright, is that the correct answer? And yes, it is. <laughs> Wonderful. So, now for the second question. This is for Salma and Khadija. Let's see if you guys can get this one. Usually round one goes well, but uh, we'll see what happens. Allah punished those who violated Sabbath by turning them into is it A, apes, B, gorillas, C, monkeys, or D, chimpanzees? The answer is C, monkeys. Let's see, that's the correct answer. <laughs> okay, perfect round one for the Oakville Orbis. Yes. That's their first run. Let's move on uh, swiftly to the Milton Muttaqeen and see if they can match that perfect first round from the Oakville Oribus. Let's see it. All right, I guess we're just gonna move in the same order again yeah. with uh, starting off with Abdul Rafi and uh, Jannah, right? Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's see. So the first question is, no Jew or Christian hears of me, but dies without believing in what I was sent with, but will be among the people of the fire. Who said this? Is it A, Prophet Isa alayhi salam, B, Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam, C, Prophet Muhammad, or, or D, Prophet Musa alayhi salam. Uh, the answer is C, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi Let's see if that's correct. And yes, that is correct. Very nice. Okay, the, the second question uh, for the Milton Muttaqeen going to uh, Juwaria and Zaim. Uh, so computer, let's see our question. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised Isa up to him and saved him from being killed by the disbelievers. True or false? A. True. Let's see. That's the correct answer. So, two perfect rounds uh, from these two teams, the Oakville Orbis and the Milton Muttaqeen. So, uh, again, it's going to go into the second round and it's all going to come up to that. Oh, yeah. That's usually where things happen. So, yeah. uh, we got to see if you guys are going to maintain a perfect run or not. Yeah. All right, so I think we should just get into round two and start with the individual questions. Let's go. And uh, before we started, these guys are asking me about uh, if, uh, if the order of the questions is harder to easier, easier to harder. Yeah. I'm going to ask them in a, in a special way now. So uh, I think we're going to start off with the Milton Muttaqeen. And uh, we're going to start off with uh, Jawaria, actually. So uh, let's get the first question. How can one attain Al-Birr? A, by giving salam, B, by spending of that which you love, C, by eating healthy food, or D, by buying expensive items. B, by spending of that which you love. Let's see it. And that is the correct answer. <laughs> Wonderful. So that's a great answer uh, from a great player. And uh, it's, uh, it's a good way to start off that round. Uh, puts you on the right track for the team. Definitely. And uh, let's move uh, to the second question, uh, continuing with that, with that random order. Um, let's start from the middle and let's go left and let's uh, ask Zaim this next question. So, computer, let's see that question. 
mentioned in an nisa supporting an evil act is A. Share in the punishment B. Share in the reward C. Share in the wealth or D. Share in the evil The answer is D. Share in the evil That is the correct answer Okay, so these guys are rolling. Yeah. Two out of four. Let's see if uh, we can keep that streak going. So the next question is going to be for Abdul Rafi. Let's see if he can get it right. So in Surah Al-Ma'idah, what is the Quranic term for the concept of seeking Allah's guidance and forgiveness? Is it A, Tawbah, B, Dua, C, Dhikr, or D, Al-Fatiha? The answer is B, Dua. Let's see if that's correct, correct answer. And yes, it is. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Three or four now. Three or and, four. Um, if uh, we get this last question right, then that is a perfect uh, game for them. Uh, all 14 points. So let's see if they can do it. Okay. And finally, for the Milton Muttapin, the final question of their round two. This is for Jannah. Let's see. Which prophet story is prominently mentioned in Surah Al-Araf? A. Prophet Adam alayhi salam B. Prophet Nuh alayhi salam C. Prophet Ibrahim alayhi salam or D. Prophet Moses or Musa alayhi salam D. Prophet Musa alayhi salam Let's see it. Is it correct? Yes, it is. <laughs> Wonderful. So these guys got a perfect run. Yeah. I didn't put anybody on the spot, just a random order. So uh, yeah. <laughs> let's move on to the Oakville Oribus. Let's see if these guys can also do it, you know, let's fresh see. blood. Let's <laughs> see it. All right. So you want to start off with, who are you going to pick? Mm, let's see. Let's, let's, see. let's start, off with, uh, start off with Yusuf. All righty. From, from the opposite side. So uh, computer, can we get our first question for Yusuf? In the Quran, Al-Ma'un means what? A, helping rich people. B, helping non-Muslims, or C, helping others? C, helping others. That's the correct answer. That's a great way to start the second round for uh, the Oakville Oribis. Wonderful. Okay, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the, uh, the right side of the table. So uh, this next question is going to be for Salma. Let's see if you can get it. You know, you might, you might not. Who knows? Let's, let's get the question going. What do we have to give once we complete the fast of Ramadan? Is it A, Zakat, B, Sadaqah al-Fitr, C, Charity, or D, Buy Food for the Poor? B, Sadaqah al-Fitr. Let's see if that's right. And yes, that is the correct answer. Worried there for a second, huh? <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, let's, let's move on to the, the next question for the Oakville Orbis. And uh, let's ask it to uh, Nada. So, computer, can we get our question? Which book was revealed on Prophet Dawood alayhi salam? Was it A, the Injil, B, the Torah, C, the Zabur, or D, the Quran? C. C? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, that's the correct answer. <laughs> okay. So they got a perfect run, man, you know, like three out of four. Yeah, three out of four yeah, so we got, far. They we need got one left. One you know. left, yeah. We just have... Uh, it's, a, it's a lot of pressure, but no pressure. We just got so, uh, uh, Khadija left now, yeah. right? Yeah, so uh, we got to get to the last question, you know, four for four, three for four. Yeah. Let's see if you, can guys, if you guys get this, then it's, uh, it's a tie. You guys both get one point and you guys move on. Yeah. All right, computer, let's have the final question for Khadija. Okay, so for the last question, when did the Ottoman Empire take control of Jerusalem? In. Is it A, in 1417, B, in 1317, C, in 1517, or D, in 1097? D, in, in 1097. Is that correct? <coughs> oh, unfortunately, that is not the correct answer. So... You guys went three for four, but you guys, you know, there was, a, there was a team. You guys went up against a great team, and you guys had the knowledge too. You guys did wonderful, but unfortunately, that was the wrong answer. So you guys went three for four. It was the last question. You guys did great, but um, uh, the Milton Muttaqim came out on top once again. I think uh, both teams here showed a, a vast amount of knowledge and skill, and although uh, they came up short, uh, you guys showed a, 
a lot of uh, true knowledge and uh, it just shows us how much uh, you guys are learning from these questions and from uh, uh, this entire uh, quiz, quiz whiz. Uh, but uh, congratulations to the Milton Mutakin for coming out on top and getting three points. Okay, so that concludes this episode and we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>